We are back at Oxford Market Antiques today, and we are picking up where we left off yesterday. And if you have not seen that video, you can find a link for it down in the description. But we are here looking through the $4 shelves where everything is $4 or two for $7. And I've found this little Florida block here, and I showed Dagny because her daughter does collect these. But I don't think Jenny would really appreciate that one as much as she would a teddy bear or a unicorn. I also found this, and this is a McCoy barrel mug, and these sell for about $12 to $15, so I decided to grab that. There is definitely a lot on the shelves and a lot of pieces that I could probably buy and flip for a profit, but I'm trying to be a little selective. Got some Blue Mountain pottery there, it looks like. Some really nice planters. A biscuit jar. Got some train stuff back there. And up here I found a tiki mug. And I've been trying to collect some tiki mugs for our booth at Carlisle Antique Mall where we currently have all of the Whitco furniture that we purchased. Dagny found this really neat vase, and I love the birds. I think they're just fantastic. So uh, she did purchase that for her eBay shop, which I've linked down in the description under Shop with Our Friends, so you can find that there. She also found the little Westmoreland basket and another figurine. We were going a little crazy. Like, we, we were so overwhelmed with all of the amazing pieces, and for only $4 a piece on these shelves, I mean... It was, it was insane. <laughs> I really liked this little vase here. It had some silver overlay. It says pure silver right there on the bottom. And I, I liked the silver overlay with the flowers. All oh, the glass looks so pretty in the window. Down here I noticed this southwestern style pot here. And I feel like I have purchased one of these before. And I can't really recall how well it did. So I passed. I walked away from that. I liked this as well. And I know that I've seen this before. And I can't off the top of my head remember who makes this. But I love the color of it. I love that pink with the black. And it is marked USA on the bottom. This glass bottle looked to be tinted a little purple, and so I thought maybe it would be older. But it did look to be machine made. There was a paperweight and these appeared to be real flowers, so I did want to check that out. It says Daisy Glass on the bottom. Now, there was another woman shopping there, and she was carrying this around. And this is Royal Hager. It is the Bassett Planter. And I had never seen this one in person, and so I asked her if I could show it on camera, and she, she let me do that. But I absolutely loved it. It was adorable. She was showing me the bottom there where you can see the wear on the shoe. They actually put that into the mold, so it was a really neat piece. I had to congratulate her on that because I would have snatched that up in a second if I saw it. So she had a very good find. Now I noticed this flying pig here. It was a bell, and I had to check the price on it because Dagny's eBay shop is Flying Pig Thrifts, and so that made me think of her eBay shop. Now she had told me that I needed to go and check out the bathroom and so right now I am looking for the bathroom. Oh and look, she found a tiki mug. Look at that, another one. I'm collecting tiki mugs now. And I had to show her the flying pig. Now she's showing me the bathroom. She says, you have to check out the bathroom. It's not very often we go to a shop and we have to check out the bathroom. This is a rare occurrence. And I'm gonna show you the bathroom. <laughs> look at this bathroom. It was amazing. There was actual merchandise in the bathroom, and I just happened to have to go 
I mean, that's probably TMI, but I had to go to the bathroom anyway. And so I decided to go in and check it out a little closer. I liked the artwork. Now, after I went to the bathroom, I sat there staring at this piece right here. And it, it, I made the decision that I needed to have it while I was using the restroom. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I mean, it was a very good marketing decision to put stuff in the bathroom. They basically sold a lamp. Also, I think that door is haunted. For only $28. Now, this is the other side of the store, which we have not explored yet. This store is, is just keeps going on and on. It's amazing. I found the salt glaze mug here, and I did like the salt glaze on it. It was only $12. There was a lot of stuff I passed on that I could have made a profit on, but it was overwhelming and I, and I didn't want to spend too much money. I ended up spending $800 and so I, even being selective, I spent a lot of money. This looked to be BBP, Beaumont Brothers Pottery, and it was marked on the bottom, BBP. It was a nice little piggy bank. spotted the owl and I really liked this owl piece. I'm assuming that it is a planter. It was $14. It had kind of a wedge bottom. I'm not sure if this is Cameron County clay products or if it is McCoy. I liked the pottery planter as well. I thought I liked the glaze on that. This was the top to an Henri music box. Over here I noticed this cast metal bird for $16. It did have a sticker on the bottom. And this was interesting. I liked the carving on this piece. I think that it was a mug or just a drinking vessel. And then I noticed the lamp. And another tiki mug. Look at that. Now we have an entire collection of tiki mugs. This lamp was also interesting. I loved the quality of it. There was just a quality about the facial features. Now I've found the glass and I've also found this thousand butterfly pattern plate, which is really, really nice. This is a desirable pattern. And so I wanted to pull this out and get a closer look at it. You can see all the butterflies there. Um, it was $19. When I turned it over, I realized that it had been repaired. It was a decent repair. A really decent repair. I mean, you can't really tell there looking at the front, but um, because of the repair, I decided that I was going to set it back. There was not very many damaged pieces here at this shop. The quality was good. The prices were great. I was very impressed. Now I've spotted the art glass mushroom. And I usually pick up mushroom pieces when I find them. I think that they're just fun. We've found the jewelry. <laughs> and even though I kind of just take a quick glance through the jewelry now, towards the end of this video, I went a little bit crazy on the jewelry. This was a nice paperweight, but the bottom was clouded, so I wasn't sure on that. Oh, 
up here, there was a nice art glass sculpture, a cute little pig. And a cat. Now, I wasn't real sure about this cat. I suspect it is pottery, but I wasn't sure whether or not it was Raku. I want to believe it's Raku. You can see that it is black there on the inside, which leads me to believe that it is a Raku piece. I've got an art glass bird. I loved the red and the blue contrast on this bird, and you can see those silver flecks. My hands are getting very full. And then this. <laughs> This has the original Murano sticker. It is Iset, I-C-E-T. It's a beautiful, vibrant orange. I'm obsessed with it. You can see there is another thousand butterfly plate down there, but I just didn't dig it out. And this. I expected this was a lid, but this is actually one piece. And I'm not sure if it is a floral frog on the top or if it was meant for incense, I'm not entirely sure, but I loved that figural lizard on the top of, of it. So I decided to buy it for $26. And if you know its purpose, please let me know in the comments. It is signed on the bottom and it is Costa Rica. I couldn't make out the signature. And I found Kokeshi dolls. Look at the little Kokeshis. Aren't they cute? They appear to have some age. And then, of course, I noticed the figurine and Dagny reached right in to help. <laughs> She's always got the extra hands there. Uh, the figurine is Chalet Crystal, which I believe is different than Chalet Art Glass. But I was very pleased with that little kitty there. And then Dagny pointed out that kitty. But I... There's just, there's too many figurines. And that is the moment that the Kokeshi gave birth and Dagny caught it. <laughs> Completely unexpected. I didn't actually realize that the Kokeshi had little baby Kokeshis inside um, until that moment where they just all popped out all at once. And then the other one's head popped off. It, I mean, it was a terrifying moment. One was decapitated and the other one just gave birth into Dagny's hand. <laughs> it was a moment for sure, but it's all good. We just put everything back together and, and we were all set. And then I found the dog figurine and he was a very nice quality, but I could not say for certain whether or not he was Murano. And so I believe we listed him as an art glass dog figurine, but the quality of his features and the way that his nose and his eyes were applied, he was nice. His head was just on backwards. <laughs> but other than that, he was great. I mean, you can see his tail there. His head is facing his tail and not his front legs. It is what it is. And then I spotted another kitty over here. Um, now, they are $24. The owl, I believe, sold for $40. And I believe since these are kitties, they might sell a little bit better. So I think I can pretty much double my money on those. And I, I'm digging them. I spotted this Empoli decanter up on the top shelf and it is amethyst and the optic texture was just amazing. It did not have any glasses to go with it, unfortunately, but it did have the original stopper. So I decided that I was going to buy this even though it was missing a few glasses. I'm trying to get down low to see the bottom shelves and spotted this foo dog lamp. Dagny is trying to finagle it out of there without breaking anything. Now, after she went through all that work, I decided that I was going to pass on the foo dog. <laughs> and instead I looked at this beautiful Raku vase and passed on that as well. 
but I think I am going to end the video here. We've got one more part. We have a part three and I am going to hold off on that until tomorrow. So hopefully you stay tuned and I will see you all then. Well, I just finished editing the video and I've got a really quick announcement to make, a very exciting announcement, and that is that the merch is finally here. The merch you've all been waiting for. The Missing Lid Conspiracy. <laughs> this is the first version, the first edition, in a series of Missing Lid Conspiracy merch. And I've worked really hard with the designer to come up with something that met my standards, <laughs> that, that I loved and that I approved of and that I knew that you would love. And so it's got a bird on it. It's actually got two birds on it. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is a limited time campaign that I am running through bonfire.com. So what that means is that it's only going to be available for three weeks and then it is done. It is gone. It is no longer available. So the campaign ends on April 26th. 2021 and after that the shirts are no longer available so hopefully between now and then that's three weeks you guys are able to snatch a shirt and uh, get one of these shirts uh, they are available in shirts sweatshirts tank tops um, and base baseball tees even so make sure you go check that out there is a link for it down in the description and i hope you guys love it as much as i do but it's been a long time coming and it's finally here <laughs> The Missing Lid Conspiracy Merch. All right, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.